Musky fishing is more than a pastime in my world. It's an addiction. This addiction just fuels me every time I'm out on the water trying to hunt down one of these toothy critters that are at the top of their food chain. You know, they just don't care. That's what it comes down to. Sometimes you'll get these fish just feet from you as you're working the figure eight, boat side movement, or whatever you want to call it. This is what fuels my addiction. This is what I live for. And on this video, we're going to be going over a few points to help you put some fish in the boat on the figure eight. So when you're casting your combo out, the most important time is when you get boat side because that is when the figure eight or the figure circle or you know the boat side movement, whatever you want to call it, uh, all comes into play. And uh, so we're going to cast this top raider out. I'm not going to cast it too far. But once it comes in, we're going to keep a real keen eye on the water. We're looking for any water movement, anything like that. So when it comes into the boat, boom, L shape, and then we're going to go into the figure eight. Now the top raider here, I'd like to get it up, keep it up on the L, and then I'll dip it down a few inches underwater. Don't be afraid to go real deep if you have to. Um, keep a good eye behind the bait. Now we're fishing a real dark water right now, so you can't see. So I like to make, you know, a couple passes. It doesn't have to be a complete eight like everyone talks about. You know, you can throw in, you know, a straight, uh, you know, oval shape on it, just like that, um, and just keep it going. You can throw in little twitches here and there. Uh, you're just gonna keep it moving. But the most important thing, the most important thing is you do not want to slow it down. If anything, as it's coming to the boat, you want to speed it up. You know, you want to keep it, you know, fast. So I'm just gonna whip it out here a little bit. So as it's coming into the boat here, here it's getting to the boat side, I'm gonna speed it up. I'm gonna speed it up even faster. And I'm gonna come right smoothly into that figure eight. Boom, L shape. And I'm in the eight right now. Maybe I wanna go into the oval. All right, there goes an oval. Maybe throw a little twitches in here and there. But you don't wanna slow it down. Especially, especially if you see a fish behind it. Because you gotta remember, these fish are fast. And uh, what you're doing in the figure eight, the O, the boat side movement, whatever, is you're trying to make it look like that fish or that bait is getting away from that muskie. Now, if you heard that click, that's one other little side uh, note. I always have my bail open when I'm doing the figure eight because if you get a boat side strike, maybe it's not in the best area, you know, and you wanna let some line out, or maybe that fish hits. You don't wanna just keep constant pressure on that fish when it's hitting on there and pounding on your bait. So what you're gonna do is you have that open and you're controlling that line tension with your thumb. Very important, have that bail open, keep it going nice and even, keep the speed even, don't slow down, and you'll hook up with one of these fish. Some of my best memories musky fishing are of boat side fish. Just something to be said with them smoking that bait just feed from you. You know, create your own style about what we talked about. You know, pick and choose about the pros and cons. And one thing I'll leave you with is as you were just seeing, you don't want that fish jumping out of the water. If you hook up both sides, bury that rod tip deep underwater. You're not always able to, but if you are, get it down and hold on tight. Get that fish in the net, get you a nice picture, and move on on the next hunt. I'm Kyle Sorensen from Mobile Outdoors, and until next time, headlines, stay dry.